When I try to train clinicians about eating disorders, I always um, try and help them understand what causes eating disorders, how do you catch an eating disorder. Um, so people don't choose to get an eating disorder, but there's a combination of um, factors that uh, often lead to them. By far the biggest risk factor is dieting. So if um, you have two teenage children, for example, and one goes on a diet, she's 18 times more likely to develop an eating disorder. That's by far the biggest risk factor. And that's because dieting, especially extreme dieting, leads to uh, uh, changes in the brain. We know that from the Minnesota Semi-Starvation Study done by Professor Ansel Keys in the 1950s. And what he found was that if people um, uh, d restrict their diet, their thinking changes. They become very obsessive, very rigid in their thinking, thinking about food uh, a lot of the time. They become depressed, anxious, and they get very focused on the detail, what we call proofreader thinking. They lose the ability to stand back and look at the bigger picture. And uh, once you get in that starved brain, it's very hard to get yourself out of it because we all believe what our brains tell us. And so um, a big part of the treatment of uh, eating disorders is to give people that education to understand what their brain's doing and that their brain needs regular nourishment uh, so they can get back to flexible, insightful thinking. I like to have the parents or loved ones in the room too so they can hear it too and um, they can understand it. And one thing I sometimes just write on, on a bit of paper first is, I said, read these words, it's not your fault. And often there's tears at that point because they've, and I said, willpower's not gonna get you better. You've tried willpower, you know, whether they've got binging, purging or, or um, starving, it's, it's um, they need to re-nourish their brain. That's the first step. I'm at university. I'm almost finished my degree, which I never thought was possible. I always thought that I was dumb, but didn't realise that was a result of starvation from the brain. So it's nice to be able to use my brain now and know that it wasn't anything about me as a person. It was something that the eating disorder took away.